Good morning, everybody. Uh, let me show you where we are today. Yeah, we're at the water, but as you can see, we are at the causeway. To get here, you take Periwinkle to Bailey Road and come out to the park. Now, here's the problem. You have to have a resident or a parking sticker to park here. And if you don't have one, the new fines are $200 for parking here. So, I figured a lot of you are never going to see this beach because you don't have a parking sticker. Let me show you the other side of it. Um, the tide is up. On the weekends, you'll see there's a lot of boats in here because there's not a lot of uh, a lot of people because there's no parking, so the boats come in and and they use this beach quite a bit. But of course, it's not a really pretty looking day today, and um, no boats, no people. If you do want to come here, you can park at the visitor center and walk out. There is a trail that comes back this way, and you can come out and uh, enjoy this beach. Especially on a weekday when it's quiet, you'll have the whole beach to yourself. So that and a couple of fishermen out there. Let's see where this goes. Oh, and there's the uh, path. You can ride your bike out here, you can walk out here from the visitor center. It's a nice path. And of course you can come down and walk underneath the causeway. I've seen, I'm sure a lot of you have seen pictures, uh, a lot of people come under here and take pictures of um, what it looks like. You can get down real low and take pictures all the way from one end all the way to the other. But they usually do that at low tide and you can get down there a little better. Of course, if you can follow this all the way around, let's go on over, we'll show you, takes you over to the boat ramp. And something I didn't know, there's restrooms over there. I really never noticed, to be honest with you. Okay, here's a trail. And when you get over here, here's the um, here's the boat ramp. Apparently, all the pelicans like to sit on the railings. A little bit of seaweed, but the water is very clear. Yeah, they're not happy. They don't want me out here. And of course, we have a police boat. And a juvenile heron right there. If you come over this way, there's a nice uh, picnic area. Picnic tables, there's a grill.
And of course, I'm sure you can hear my sneakers on this uh, shell walkway. Back in olden times, the uh, pioneers used to put shells all around their houses. And what that did was uh, they would hear the Indians sneaking up. They would step on the shells. The shells would break. It was like the noise you're hearing under my feet. And um, that's how they knew when the Indians were sneaking up on them. Or so I've been told that by some historian and some, uh, we were, I can't even remember where I was now, in uh, some historical village and had shells all around the outside of the house and they explained that was why. And of course, here's the pay station. So you come here, you can picnic here, you can, I guess, put your boat in. And it's $5 an hour. Social distancing is in effect, and there's a $200 parking fine. So, be careful when you come. Okay, I'm going to start heading back, but once again, I don't know if you can see them in there. Over here, millions and millions of little minnows swimming around. through here too. All the gray you see along here is fish. That's all fish in there. Little bigger ones out that way. Okay, thanks for hanging out with me today, and um, I will see you on the next video. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.